upper cervical spine instability is rare and it's more likely in patients with inflammatory arthropathy, Marfan's disease, Down syndrome, and a history of cervical trauma where the alar ligament may have been torn. To perform this test, sit the patient and place the head into a slight flexion position. Apply pressure over the C2 vertebrae and then translate the head back over this fixed point by pushing through the forehead. A positive test is indicated by excessive translation over the C2 vertebrae. If the initial head position causes any paresthesia or weakness in the upper limbs, which is often relieved with the posterior translation, this is also a firm sign of upper cervical spine instability. So don't perform any manual therapy on patients who test positive for upper cervical spine instability and speak to a medical professional immediately to ensure the patient gets suitable screening and care, especially where trauma has been present.